everyone. My name is Katrina Wong and I'm 10 years old this year. Today, I'll be talking about whether robots can replace humans. First things first, the place we love most, our home. These are the things. The following things I'm going to list are the things that we humans are doing that we want robots to do. First, house chores. Now, I'm sure everyone has at least one person at home who does things like sweeping, keeping the house tidy, and laundry, which you have to do but don't necessarily enjoy doing. Robots can do all that. Amazing, huh? Next, for anyone with younger siblings, you have to babysit them. It can be just as tiring as house chores or even worse because you can never look away for their own safety. Well, robots can do things like feed the baby, entertain the baby, or even sing them a song, joke with them, or talk to them. Have you ever seen your parents come out of the kitchen, sweaty from the heat of the stove, and crying over chopped onions? Well, I think they do. Robots can cook for you. The heat in the kitchen may make your parents perspire, but it's not hot enough to melt the robot. The robot can even set up the table with your favourite cutlery, colourful plates, and cute napkins. Afterwards, wash the dishes. Good. How about entertainment now? Robots can accompany you, play games with you, while your parents can have a good night's sleep. For example, when I was little, the movie Frozen came out. Little girls all over the world, and some boys too, I guess, were crazy over it. I was one of them, sadly. It's kind of embarrassing, but okay. So I asked my mom to bring me to the cinema to watch the movie. A few days later, I asked my mom, can I watch it again? So she bought the DVD and played it on the TV. We watched it once, twice, and again, and again, and again. Usually, my mom would fall asleep on the couch. My dad, he wasn't any better. Education, don't let me get started on that. You can say robots know it all because everything can be found on the internet. But when it comes to what you don't understand specifically, the robot may just irritate you. For example, the robot is teaching you the concepts of decimals. That at one part of the lesson, you ask a question, and a robot repeats the whole lesson to you again. Doesn't sound like a really nice tutor now, does it? Robots are good for teaching specific skills, but not exactly at understanding your problems. Have you ever had a piece of equipment fail you at the wrong moment? Your phone, for example? Like, you have to go overseas. You need to go search the location you want to go, Google Maps. Then you start getting occupied, Facebooking, Instagramming, Twittering, Snapchat, Snapchatting. Chatting with your friends, or like my parents, catching Pokemon on Pokemon Go. <laughs> and before you know it, your screen goes blank, the battery bar is low. Some kids like me will just be like, no, all hope is gone. Sometimes my father just goes, oh no, now I have nothing to do at home. What I'm trying to say is that robots can fail you anytime. They are also battery operated like all our electronic devices. Robots are good, aren't they? But what are some things that Robots can do that we don't want them to do. Now, remember earlier, the robot can entertain you? They can actually sing karaoke with you, and I said that they can play games with you. But think again, would you rather do all those with some weird mechanical machine or your friends? Most likely, your friends. But there is one thing that we all don't want the robot to do, our job. But what can robots not do? Well. They cannot give birth, obviously, and they also cannot take care of emotional or psychological aspects of human communication. So to end up this talk, here's my conclusion. Can robots replace mankind? Functionally, yes. Robots are capable of many skillful jobs and tasks. Emotionally, no. Robots are not humans, so they don't have emotions whatsoever. There are two things that robots do not have, consciousness and emotions. For emotions, there is no evidence that humans are going to develop an emotions chip to slot into the robot. Consciousness, 
robots are just not human. thank you.